welcome back to Matthew's Big Adventure. My name is Matthew, your host, and uh, this is my sister Hannah. Say hi, Hannah. Say hi. Do you want to say hi? You get shy? <laughs> you don't want to say hi. Okay. Do Caleb, do you want to say hi? Mm -hmm. Say hi. Hi. That's my brother Caleb, and um, that's my little brother Daniel. He's sleeping right now. But um, we are at my favorite taco place, Taco Tierra, and we are all getting tacos. Everybody gets a taco. Except me, I got a burrito. Daddy got the burrito. I'll take my taco. Is that my taco? Mm -hmm. My taco. Okay. And uh, Wait, oh. we're gonna eat we have, before we went we to have my grandma's friend. house. Yep. And um, oh, well, we're we're um, hang on. Oh, we'll be back whenever we, we, we can we're pray at grandma. We can pray. Okay, we're gonna pray then. Ready? You gonna pray, Matthew? Dear God, thank you for this food and all hey, you give us and Matthew. the time. Uh, what do you want to do it? Uh huh. Okay. okay. Thank you. I can't say it so well. It's okay. You can try. Okay. Yeah. You want me to do it again? Can you finish it? Dear God, thank you for the food and the time we get to spend yeah. together, and thank you for all you give us. And uh, in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Well, see you guys when we get back to when we get to Grandma's. Matthew's big adventure. My dad brought me out to my grandma's house. Everybody else is uh, out at uh, the doctor's office because my cousin and my grandpa both had a doctor's appointment. Um, but I'm going to be doing some school. We got um, we got reading and penmanship and some language and I uh, don't know why that's there. Um, read uh, more reading and um, spelling test and uh, that's it for that list and I got some math over here that's a paper for penmanship um, and uh, more math and um, this is what I've done so far in uh, penmanship and um, it's it is uh, good to do penmanship so that way you can um, know how to read um, like the de de read stuff like the Declaration of Independence and um, other stuff that's in cursive that way you can know how to read it and um, that way people that like to read cu cursive a lot can read your handwriting whenever it's in cursive and um, it's good to do your schoolwork because that way you can learn and my grandma had a surprise for me and uh it's baby they have grandma, baby guinea pigs and uh one of them had babies so now we got baby guinea pigs to teach me how to safely drive a riding lawnmower um, around my grandpa's yard. So, so go ahead and start it. Start it. Uh, get down the key. This one. Okay. We need to put this in reverse. Okay. Now make sure there's nobody behind us.
that a good experience? Yeah. What did you learn? Um, probably need to be a little bit, uh, older, older a little bit um, bigger, a lot bigger and, uh, taller, taller and, uh, need to weigh a little bit more. Weigh a little bit more. But how, how important it is, is it to be safe while using a ride mower? Very safe. You need to be very safe because of the blade. If somebody get, would get their foot in here, then the blade would get it and slice open their foot. Yep, so it's important that a lawnmower is not a toy, it's a tool mm -hmm. to do what? Um, it's important to mow the grass and uh, that's why uh, people invented it. So. To be more productive. Yeah, that way they won't have super big weeds in their yard and have to walk through it. But maybe I guess you'll just have to use the push mower. Yep. Okay, well. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, leave comments. Bye.